This spring term, North Central College graduates are preparing to don their caps and gowns. But one student is working hard to make sure his education continues beyond campus while making a difference in the world around him. Etienne Mishuli has never taken education for granted, perhaps because he wasn't always certain he would have one. At just seven years old, he escaped the Rwandan genocide, which left much of his family for dead, taking refuge in the Democratic Republic of Congo. His path would eventually lead him to North Central College, where he currently studies political science and economics. In his time on campus, Mashuli co-founded Ubuntu in Action, Ubuntu being an African word for humanity to others. The idea behind Ubuntu in Action was really to try and uh, address this extreme violence that was going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, by posing some alternative solutions. Since its start in 2009, the group has managed to create four classrooms in the first Ubuntu Academy. Mashuli has engaged in a number of other services around Africa, like spreading awareness of HIV in Rwanda and counseling trauma patients for refugee camps in Uganda. There is always a feeling, at least among survivors, that you know, there is something that should be done to uh, stop this wanton violence. And uh, I feel an ex tremendous sense of responsibility to be you know, part of this movement or you know, uh, group that is uh, trying to change the world for a better place. His efforts have earned him a Soros Fellowship Award, Obviously. national recognition for U.S. students planning to pursue a graduate degree. The scholarship grants him a total of $90,000 for tuition and living expenditures for the first two years. Mashuli was one of 30 students nationwide to receive the honor out of more than 1,000 applicants. What's exceptional about ATN is that uh, he's, he's driven by deeper goals. He wants to understand problems, he wants to make a difference. Uh, for ATN, you never get the sense he's, he's in the class for a grade. Muck has worked closely with Mashuli on a few assignments, including writing articles on global poverty and Mashuli's project on the Rwanda genocide. Mashuli has been accepted into a number of prestigious graduate programs. Though right now he's not sure which one he'll accept, he plans on pursuing a master's in public policy.